Miami Beach, along the southern tip of Florida, doesn't have to worry about the negative effects climate change can bring. It's already coping with serious issues from sea level rise and land subsidence. The traffic pattern is a maze of detours, chiefly because city officials are taking the dramatic step to actually raise low-lying roads about one meter. Everybody wants to be here. You have uh, new restaurants, new people coming in uh, to Miami each day. This is the best place to live. More than a year ago, Purdy Avenue was elevated about one meter. Kenneth Diaz, who works at Panther Coffee facing the street, had a front row seat to the dramatic change. It's definitely a point of concern, I think, especially for the business owners here look, looking long term. Uh, I mean, it's something that comes up uh, for sure, uh, like what it's going to be in a few years or, or decades. While it may be needed, the vertical shift has its downside. Many businesses, once at street level, now look up to asphalt and traffic. While managers at Pub Belly would not talk on camera, they say their restaurant floods. Whether it's flood walls going up here in the harbor of Miami Beach or skyscrapers in the downtown area, it's hard not to notice all the construction going on in South Florida. Researchers and scientists that we talk to say they hope engineers are taking the future into consideration. While flooding may be bad in 2017, they warn by the year 2100, it could be catastrophic. Here's how the Miami area looks today. Scientists are putting together maps to show how flooding is expected to swamp much of the area by the middle of the century. Within the next 85 years, they predict sea level could rise close to two meters. Much of Miami would be underwater, creating as many as two million climate refugees. We are missing an opportunity by pulling out of the Paris Agreement. Climate scientist Karen Bolter created these maps detailing the future of South Florida. While just a projection, she says it shows what's at stake if greenhouse gases go unchecked. Right now we're at a tipping point where if we curb emissions, we can slow things down. And the difference between three feet and four feet is huge. The option now is spending millions and millions on flood walls, improved pumps, and raising streets. While it's a concern, Miami Beach has its own attitude one that doesn't always focus on future consequences. No, I think people in Miami Beach live for today. Left unchecked, scientists say climate change will catch up with the hip deco area. The only question is just how soon. Sean Cadlebs, CGTN, Miami Beach.